What is up guys, Joe Mikkel here of Social Vignerons, back with another one video. So today, like every Wednesdays, as much as possible, I'm going to be reviewing wine accessories as part of my Talking Wine with Julian series, and this is episode number four. So today, I'm going to be reviewing what claims to be one of the smartest uh, corkscrew, corkscrews uh, available on the market, and a watch uh, whose bracelet is made out of cork and it looks it's tainted uh, with a bit of wine but there's also natural cork looking ones um, and so we're gonna have a look at those two items uh, so first let's have a look at the Brewcart set by a company called Pultex that specializes in wine accessories uh, that is based in Barcelona uh, Barcelona, Spain. This corkscrew retails for about 70 euros uh, in Europe, so that, that would be around 80, 90 dollars in the US, uh, 60 pounds uh, perhaps in the UK. And the special thing about this, what they say on the packaging is that the rack opening of the Bruca corkscrew is the most clever and original uncorking system. It allows to extract the cork without effort. It is ready to control how deep the perforation of the spiral is, etc etc so let's open up and unbox this jewel of a core screw and see if it can actually open a bottle of wine without effort as it claims to do first off comes in a nice um, little box uh, metal box but uh, it imitates wood uh, which makes it looks rather smart looks pretty pretty neat on the inside comes with <coughs> A little sack uh, to put the corkscrew and this is what the corkscrew looks like i had a quick look at a video before uh, so to learn how to use this uh, but i haven't actually used it uh, before so the corkscrew comes with a little knife um, <coughs> to cut the capsule so let's try this yep that works just fine the special thing about this corkscrew um, is that it comes with a graduation um, depending on the length of your cork. So um, this is how you normally do it. So I think you have to pull that thing. It's actually harder than I thought it would be. It's actually pretty pretty tricky uh, you have to learn the trick oh here we go <clears throat> so oh no. oh no that's not how it goes all right let's try this again yeah so i guess you just have to learn the trick before you use it um oh here we go you just turn turn the screw and turn the screw <clears throat> And you can see as the screw is going in that it marks how far through the cork it's gone. Uh, you have to know that corks uh, come in different lengths depending on the quality of the wine pretty much. Uh, standard lengths are about 37 uh, for short screws, 37 millimeters, but some are 44 millimeters, some are 49 millimeters, millimeters and that's for more high-end uh, age-worthy wine. So you can, if you know the length of your cork, uh, you can adjust so the cork doesn't go all the way through the cork. So, so far it's been fairly easy except for opening that thing, but now I've got the trick. And once you've done that, all you do is that you you actually sort of pump pump the cork right out here it goes and yeah if you've got it right it just comes off uh, really easily so yeah it, it's true that it's actually without effort uh, I guess it's not that much easier than with a normal corkscrew or oh, by the way uh, Pultex also sent me this nice wooden um, corkscrew which got my name on it uh, it's a nice finish uh, so it seems that this company makes some decent stuff by the way this is not a sponsored video uh, they just they did send me uh, those accessories for free which I thank them for uh, but it's not sponsored I'm just uh, testing them and telling you uh, the way it works and the way I feel it does once you've got the corkscrew 
out in theory you just push that little lever here and the corkscrew should just come right out and you can just uncork it again and you're back uh, with your nice corkscrew um, and you can put it in your little sack and in your little in your little bag which is still a little tight i guess it's not um it's not quite uh, used its first first use so it's a little hard to put it in but uh, the nice little sack looks fine you can put it on your belt if you if you feel like it for your next uh, wine dinner party um and yeah so um yeah approve i mean it's a it's a good nice different way of uh, opening a bottle something a little bit different and it's true that it works just fine and i quite like uh, the look of uh, this uh, little thing here so let's um next up is um that watch and i'll try to shoot some b-roll footage uh, this is made by a company based in philadelphia uh, in the united states and they specialize uh, that's called analog watch and they specialize in, in making watches and especially bracelets with uh, natural products so they make bracelets out of wood out of marble um, uh, as well and uh, they look uh, pretty good i've been uh, having this watch for about a month and uh, using it uh, they have the watch itself comes in different colors, um, uh, the, a golden one that they call Chardonnay, a pink one, a silver pink one that they call Rosé, uh, and as well there's a sake one, more of a silver one, um, and uh, it looks pretty nice, it looks pretty neat, I've been wearing it on some of my previous uh, videos as well. Um, I think what I like about this watch is that it straight away makes you look like a wine well i, I don't want to say wine geek but uh, a wine fanatic or a wine connoisseur maybe if you wish uh, when you wear it you can see and you might have noticed this that i like my burgundy color i wear burgundy as much as i can and um, i quite like the look of this watch this makes you look like a connoisseur so if you're a wine pro or a sommelier maybe um, this makes you look, you look quite nice these retail for about $120 uh, they come with different um, taints of the bracelet as well and you can switch the bracelet uh, quite easily there's a little flip here that you can undo and if you feel like changing the color of your bracelet and you want to put a natural cork uh, color to it oh this one is a little no it's not 100% uh, working perfectly but yeah I think I've got it you can just change the other one and you've got a totally or rather different watch again this is not sponsored but I will uh, link to the manufacturers of those some uh, interesting uh, wine accessories as I said I will try to review uh, wine accessories on Wednesdays if this is a nice little Amarone that I'm going to be reviewing very soon on my tasting wine with Julian series uh, Amarone by famous Pasqua family uh, winery I will be review releasing a video about Amarone what it is where it comes from and why is it so popular what it is so loved uh, very soon right here on the TWWJ series talking wine with Julian uh, thank you for watching and I will see you soon in the wine world Cheers.